Okay, so we want to continue this week with how to manifest your dream life, the part two, and the practice. So uh, remember that last week we talked about manifestation itself, the rules about it, how that works, and then this week we want to review about how we can um, have some action that is going to help us to achieve wherever we want in our life. But before we start, I'm going to introduce myself. For the people is new in the shadow, my name is Veronica. I'm a chemical engineer and I have years of experience working in the corporate world. And my commitment with you is to share information and insight about abundance, about self-love, and about spirituality. Because I'm firmly believe these three pillars is based to achieve whatever you want in your life and whatever you deserve, you deserve in your life. So let's start it. Remember that the last week we review about manifestation itself, right? How is the definition, the rules about it? So we want to have uh, 11 points that we want to review today very quickly. I promise very quickly. And I, they're going to give you some ideas how you can work it if you are new in the manifestation or you have experience, you want to check another more um, simple way right i'm not expert but i can give you uh, the information and i think it's more basic information more like uh, essential information okay so we check already the power of manifestation right now our second point is about our goals our desire why you really really want that is you have to focus on it because for manifestation, it's the most important thing is about be clear about it. what we really, really want. Because what we really, really want is going to be more easy to achieve, right? If we have some doubt, it's highly likely that it's not going to happen, okay? So we want to be focused on that, what you really, really want. The third one, we check that, but it's important to check again is visualization and affirmation. Remember that we explained last week that affirmations and visualization is help us to reinforce this energy, this desire that we really, really want, okay? Force forward is a tool that many people is using and I have with this also, is the action board. I call action board because for me it's more meaning. Action board is a picture of what is your dreams but the idea behind of action work is that you at least have every week three actions that you're working on it to be able to achieve what do you have in this action board for example if you want a new car what do you if you want a new car in the, in the next year in one more year from now what you really, what you need to start to do right now, saving some money, for example. So every week is, is going to be your goal. So if the last years I was spending too much money, going out, drink coffee, buy, buying some clothes, this year for me is more important to have this car. So I'm going to save some money on that, okay? So this kind of uh, action is um, you are willing to take because your dream is more important, okay? And always meditation and mindfulness. Remember, meditation helps us to be aware of our thoughts, right? Have our clear mind. When we have our, our clear mind, we can focus more on what we really want and we don't have this noise about our worries, our doubts, right? So we are connecting with the higher uh, the universe or God. Sixth one is about positive attitude and gratitude. Remember that positive attitude is essential because you need to remember that you attract what you are, not what you want. So if you are negative, you just gonna attract negative thought, negative things. So be focused on that and gratitude. When you are in a negative thought and you thank you for something, you switch. So that is going to give you the power that you need. 
Uh, and the, the, um, the next one is about how a limited, beli um, limited belief is for, a for, a is for example, we grew out uh, thinking about when you have money, you are a bad person and we want to have more money in our life. We have to um, um, eliminate the thought of our uh, life. So how we can do it? With affirmations. Our repetition, we have to hear something, help out yourself with some uh, tools that is going to give you this push, right? And inspire action. So do something that is not just a desire that I mentioned in the last video that is going to help you to uh, achieve what do you want. For example, I give you the example, if you want a new car, you start saving, right? Persistent and patient is the same. You have to be persistent. You have to have patience because at the beginning, when you don't have this thing with you that you really, really desire, you're going to have doubt. So you have to keep doing the action to be able to achieve what do you really, really want. Uh, the tenth one is about a uh, success story. That helps us when you are uh, when you are doubt about your your um, desire when some when some people did it you say so you know that you can do it because some someone is did it before that is going to help you when you have this doubt and so as we have said books apps that help you to um, manifest to understand more they're going to give you this insight that sometimes we need to put to uh, achieve whatever we want in our life so if you like this video if you like this content subscribe to my channel um, um, give me a times up and uh, please comment if you want to share some information uh, in my community remember that it's many people that can be um, been doing this situation that sometimes they need positive um, experience, positive thoughts. Okay, so as I always said, share information and let's make a community.